watching your children and what are they doing now? That's the question that we're asking. You yourself are a nanny. When you listen to these things about people wanting to videotape nannies and you see the video here, what do you say? Well, the first thing I say is this is unacceptable to us, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we think that your children have rights, but we also think that we have rights. And the reason, well, first off, the vocabulary, I'd really like to know what their criteria is for you describing these people as nannies. What exactly are you looking for when you're interviewing? I've heard sweet, nice, her home was neat or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, a nanny is described by a lot of other things, her education, her ability to handle discipline, mm -hmm. her experience. I mean, these things need to come out in the interview, so I'd really like to know what you're looking for when you're interviewing. Laura? Well, Gail and I, as mothers, because we went through this process, that's why we started CareCheck. Mm -hmm. Because we do believe in extensive pre-screening, even on the telephone, and extremely thorough and extensive screening um, in the interview, because we don't want this to happen. Mm -hmm. So we believe education is important. What are some other things the that a mother should ask or a parent? Well, I think there are a lot of things, especially when you were talking about putting video cameras and sort of saying, we may be videotaping you. Somebody that's going to abuse your child, it's not going to matter. That person is doing that because they're out of control. They're unable to handle the situation appropriately. So if that person's out of control, it doesn't matter if the videotape is there or not. You need to find that out before you hire that person. Mm -hmm. And for somebody that has suspicious things going on, if your child is unhappy, if your child is be being fed incorrectly, whatever, you need to take that nanny out of the home. I mean, that person is there, and if you're suspicious, <laughs> She doesn't need to be there. You don't really have the luxury of putting up a videotape. And it may be that that person was innocent. I'm not saying that everybody, I'm not saying that everybody that you're suspicious of is guilty, but a relationship is based on trust. And if you can't walk out that door knowing your child is getting wonderful care, that person doesn't need to be there. The problem is that there are very good nannies out there. However, there are nannies out there that are not capable of caring for children. And unfortunately, you don't, you can't possibly know that be beforehand. Be you can be, and I thought I was. I trusted her up until I saw things were going wrong, and I had to do something about it, and I got her out of my home. Our Descala of Nanny Watch believes don't let there be any doubt. When in doubt, check it out. And you've got a whole display Absolutely. here. What do you want to say? Just to make a quick comment, you're mentioning that if there's a problem, you want to get rid of them right away if you sense there's a problem. Okay, I can give you a million and one examples around that. We had one case, very quick point, that the nanny worked three days a week and the people who hired the, that nanny also needed a second nanny for the other two days of the week. So they decided to do three full days and they wanted to do just a new nanny, not the nanny they've had for the last three years, but they love that nanny, she's been perfect. But they had it for an extra day, so they decided to tape it as well. After taping the new nanny, they were psyched. It was great. But the other nanny, they were in tears. So my only point is that you never know. Anybody can lie and trick you. So that's the only reason why I'm saying this is absolutely necessary to do. Tell me what you have here. You have fire alarms and clocks and VCRs. Okay. Just to give an example, the cameras that we deal with can be hidden in anything. Just to show how extreme we have a working coffee maker. A uh, PIR, which is a motion detector, a beeper, a beeper? So, you can, so you can wear it around. Oh, wow. Built into a VCR, smoke detector, radio, you name it, we can put it in it. So we do a lot of custom applications where we install them permanently in people's homes. Mm -hmm. You have um, obviously cracked a lot of cases <coughs> because of this. A lot. What happens to a nanny who is captured abusing a child? Well, in our case, according to our statistics, we have uh, about a 65% termination rate. So what that means is about 65% of the people who are now taping the nannies are firing them. I do discuss with each and every single person after they've done the taping exactly what went on and was it really extreme so that most of these people aren't over-exaggerating. But in all fairness to the nannies, a lot of the times, um, I mean, care check, we do taping as well. A lot of times it really is about miscommunication. Mm -hmm. um, it's not always about abusive nannies. Mm -hmm. I and mean, we had a, a case as simple as there was a... a a taping, the mother was watching her baby being fed, it was a, an infant, the nanny was holding the baby like in a vertical uh, position mm -hmm. where the, so she was always throwing up the baby and spitting up because the milk was going down. Well you know what, the mother had never taken the time to show the nanny to be sure the nanny knew how to feed a newborn infant. And not all parents really what know what they're... What parent hires a nanny that doesn't know to hold the child upright? You know what? This is, you know... 
this is an unthinking right. so that's, that's, right. that's exactly and what I'm that's saying. why it's a two-way street mm -hmm. before he discovered nanny watch this dad hid in his basement for two whole days to watch what was going on with his two kids this, this, he was serious what did he discover well we're going to find out what he discovered hiding out in that basement right after this